This motherfucker's gonna get me lost at a place called Lost Lake. We haven't been lost together in a while. Yeah, it's been a while. I kind of because he I, bought I a fucking a new, new toy. And I've been real busy this yes. summer. Yes. Yeah. Fuck friends when you got a motorcycle. Fucking a right, dude. <laughs> All right. So this is a place. It's in Split Rock. I've never been there, so it'll be nice to have a new like kind of area where I can disappear at. Edgecliff you know? Trail is what so, it's called. Edgecliff um, Trail. It's right on the other side of. Uh, on the other side of that whole preserve we went on with the you know with the, the the rock crusher if you remember some of the adventure videos from last year um yeah and don't worry scott will be getting a motorcycle by next year i don't so there know will about be motorcycle that videos. it's not in my fucking bu budget youtube said i can't make money anymore so we all put it in his budget for him <laughs> no they don't want to do that it's only two thousand dollars for my bike i'll sell it to you when i get a new one i don't know about that I'm pretty sure I would die. So, uh, we can't go down that trail. We're not allowed to go down that trail. Cause, and we're definitely not going to go down that trail. We're not. This is an inchy green shit, is it? Yeah. Great. I wonder when the parks took this over. Ugh. Sounds of nature and shit. What's that? They're just protecting the oxygen bearing shit. I just came up here with Alex because uh, he rescued a toad at, in the bathroom of his work and kept it for a year. What the fuck is that? Why is my fucking Google acting up? Oh, I thought that was kids talking in the back. I was like, what is this shit? Why is my phone playing fucking weird music and shit? Google's just fucking getting out of control. First YouTube and now my fucking phone. You know I don't keep That's kind of a long rant, but uh, YouTube used to be a place. First of all, I get demonetized regularly now. It means they put the lowest ranking ads that pay like only a couple of cents CPM. Because I talk about controversial things like keto. And I do talk about freedom of speech quite a bit. So, you know, and I talk shit about corporations and pharmaceutical industry and and all this other shit. So, I make less money per video. Generally my shit is demonetized for the first two hours of upload. And that's even after I publish it. And uh, so I get less money for the initial crowd that watches the shit. Then they don't show my shit to as many people. Like, I went through my impressions Yesterday, he asked. I, did, I wasn't going to talk about this. I know you guys are going to bitch. But, uh, you know, they are showing my videos in the thumbnails as far as impressions go yeah. to less people than subscribe to me. So you're saying if I were to subscribe, like, because I'm subscribed to you, it might not tell me that you put a new video out. Absolutely. Well, that doesn't make sense. It might not pop up in your feed. It might not even pop up in the recommended. Yeah, and uh, so I should be getting, like I got 9,000 something subscribers, close to 10,000. Uh, so there's that, which also means not only are they not showing new people my shit, but they're not even showing people that are subscribed necessarily. Some people will get lucky, especially if they frequently watch me, but those aren't the people I'm trying to get impressions from because they're going to check my shit anyway. I don't get notifications when your videos pop up anymore. And I still am subscribed to you. Yeah. I don't have YouTube on my phone, but it still should pop up 
through my email, it'll send a notification to my phone. It used to do that and it hasn't done that in forever. I, I, did I, you I click the bell or? Did I what? There's a bell. Yeah, come on. You so, told me how to set my shit up a long time ago. Yeah, so that's my part of my problem? No. No? That's too itchy over there. No, no, I mean, I'm looking for lost lake. Are we fucking lost? I'm fucking All looking right. for Lost Lake, okay? So hold up. All right. But yeah, that it's like a whole... And I'm not the only YouTuber this is affecting. That's why I don't think it's because I suck. I, you know, I might suck, but... In this, at the same time, there's people that I follow that I don't get their videos or notifications and shit. I think Stephanie's following you? Like, in here? Is that why we're going to Lost Lake today? I don't know. It's, it's, she's not following me. She's, she's, yeah. she's on your friend there. No. <laughs> Not me. Listen, girl, you ever you ever run into Scott? Oh again? no! Don't get started with oh, that. Yeah, <laughs> you made it this far in. But uh, and the, and also, I'm not reaching new people. Also, my subscribers over the past year have dropped. I get like 60 or to 80 new subscribers, and then I lose 70 or 80. It's like they're bleeding off what my subscribers. You know What's how much that? I spent for this bottle of smart water today? Uh, at the like fucking three dollars, three dollars and twenty eight cents for a bottle of fucking water at the runway on the corner. Like, he was. Oh God, can I say this without being? Racist? You can say everything. I, oh, I can't. I can edit. So he's not fully. He didn't speak English good. Okay. So he said how much I owed him, and I'm like. Uh, you I'm just like, got me fucking demonetized. What? For t saying he didn't speak English too good. He didn't too good. All right. Okay, he could have had a cleft lip. It didn't have anything to do with race. There you go. So he didn't speak English too good. Like me, because I don't speak English too good either, apparently. And it sounded like he said $2 and some change. So I handed him $2 and some change. It wasn't enough. And I felt stupid, and I had to ask him like two other times, and I'm like, 320, $3.28. Well, he's got to make a living because YouTube probably fucking demonetized him. So we're going to the rock crusher. <laughs> we got lost. No. Look up, uh, look up um, essential water. It's, it's not regular water. They actually enhance it and you can't even test it with uh, pH strips. Yeah. It's so whatever. And it's cheaper than this smart water. I buy smart water solely for the bottles and then I refill them like 10 times to make up for the cost. What is all this oh, shit? There's right trails there. over here and shit. I know, I know where we're going. Let's get yeah. So basically, in a nutshell, I can't grow anymore. Not that way, anyway. I could try and buy ads, but I heard that AdWords is just as stringent on content as the algorithm. Is this a trail? Yes or no? I turned down this out too. I think I turned down the wrong trail. We gotta get back on the main trail in a second, but I wanna go over here and look. I think the lake. I don't mind getting a little lost in exploring. <laughs> uh, I didn't realize how big Split Rock is. Because we're pretty far into Camillus right now. Well, fair amount. Yeah. You know why I admit that we're lost? We're at Lost Lake. There's a reason it's called Lost Lake, and I think we're we're gonna find that out today. We'll fucking find it, dude. We'll fucking range around and find this motherfucker. I should have turned down my app. No, no, no. <laughs> no, you shouldn't. This is. Way feeling like itchy green shit. No, we're good. Like my arm itches now. I feel like we're gonna get to the rock crusher soon. <laughs> Look at all this rock here. I'm surprised they didn't have a quarry on this end. Yeah. I think I just heard 
Dude, I just heard voices. And thunder. I think we're about to get fucked up by the weather. There's definitely people here though. Just some mountain bikers. Found it. Found Lost Lake. Found it. On the wrong side. Ah, oh, there it is. What was that? Should have took the first trail. Not the first illegal trail, but the other illegal trail. More swampy than lakey. And look at all the broken glass. Clearly this is where people get fucked up and trashed and, and draw dicks on stuff and oh, I guess got fucking demonetized. There's always dicks drawn on shit. Still not not a bad place. Definitely wouldn't swim in that shit. Oh yeah. There's probably fucking needles and shotgun shells and fucking all kinds of shit in that water. You know. And you would think, because Onondaga County Parks is kind of Slowly taking this shit over. You see, like, the, one of those water lilies? They'll probably, like, probably in two, three days, they're gonna bloom and then be dead in a, in a day. I don't even know what the hell kind of flowers they are. They're probably some mutated shit. Yeah, dude. I wanted to grab one of them and all. Go for it. <laughs> but look how thick the vines are, dude. Like, if you were to jump in swimming here, you'd fucking die. Like, you get snaggled up quick. That's like fucking rope. That looks hard. Oh, it doesn't hard. look that deep. Okay, but you don't really know how deep it is right there. Like, these are rocks. Like, look, there's water under the rocks. Like, this is live. It could drop to fucking 50 feet right fucking there. Yeah. But I'm just saying, look at... That should fucking get snaggled up in that. I don't think there's any missing people here. No, I'm just saying, like, don't swim, don't swim in fucking duckweed, don't ask. <laughs> that's the goddamn... That's, that's, that's the, goddamn the moral of the story. Method. Don't swim in duckweed. I think what blows me the way the most about this is just the fact that it's in the middle of the Syracuse area, surrounded by communities. Super rich communities. Super rich. Super fucking rich communities. Yes. This is where your doctors, your lawyers, your judges, your high-ranking fucking police officers, pe business owners live. They're literally, this is their backyard. Yeah. And it's fucking trash. Look, Wegman's bag floating in the goddamn river. Oh, my bad, my bad, Walmart. Misspoke. Mr. Anderson's triggered. I don't like people leaving trash places. I think it's gross. It's equivalent to not washing your hands after you wipe your ass. Yeah. One thing if you're in the woods and you can't do it. Well, I think the problem is, is there's a lot of people that come here that otherwise wouldn't go out in nature areas. That's a monarch butterfly. Because of uh, yep. easy accessibility. Somebody made eggs, I guess. Some homeless guy stayed here, brought eggs. There's his heroin bag. There's the heroin. What do you think? Should we uh, try an overnight here sometime? Uh, 
I still feel like the bugs haven't been bothering me as much lately. I mean, they got a little bad when I went to Beaver Lake the other day, but. Yeah, I didn't get bit once, I don't think. It's because I'm a ketosis. Mosquitoes aren't. Are carb burners. They don't want my fucking blood. It's less glucose for them. I just know there's gonna be itchy shit in here. Yeah, it's uh... I don't think that's an option at this point. I mean, that's why I wore the pants, but... You don't want to do this shit in shorts. Are we lost again? No, I was coming here to take a pee pee. Oh, great. So there's no trail that goes around the lake? Not this close, but yeah, there is. There's, there's like two tree trails branching off to the side. I can't talk to you while you're pissing in the lake. I'm pissing on the stone near the lake. Oh, all right. I mean, it's nature. There's already a lot of pee in that lake, but uh... Does your ranger class pee in the woods if no one's there to videotape it? Absolutely. Fuck oh, that thunder. Shit. Fuck that deer. Fuck. Yeah, we're getting fucked. We're fucking cursed. By the way, yesterday I went to a concert and stood there and an almost we had tornado warning, torrential downpour, 60 mile per hour wind. I got to stand outside it in the concert. It's fucking pretty cool. Scott was too lazy to put fucking pants on to come though. Yeah, it's I, I knew the storm was coming and I was like standing in the rain, not so much for me. You missed out on a hell of a fucking fun day though. Although I would have had my umbrella if I went. It wouldn't have mattered. The rain was coming at an angle like this, dude. The winds were so bad. Uh, it did it for almost an hour like that, too. It wasn't even. It didn't even like let up at all for like an hour. I think you got fishing line snagged on you. There's fish in this shit. Yeah. I wouldn't eat them, but maybe there's like some survivalist or some shit out here. At least he was keto. Keto at Lost Lake. I mean, I just, that's, that's what I need to do. I need to go out and buy fucking eggs, and then go out in the woods. If you're having trouble sticking to your diet, there you go. Get some eggs and some fucking butter, because butter doesn't go bad right away. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's referencing that I had a cheat day yesterday, where I ate poutine. And then I had to sit on the bowl for over an hour today. Just want to share my... I don't do keto and I shit in like 30 seconds. It doesn't even matter. I'm so fucking regular, it's great, dude. Well, There's I'm... blood on the toilet paper where I'm done, but... Well, that's not good. That's constipation. Mine came right the fuck out. I said I sit on the toilet for 30 seconds. I created a fucking island. That's, that's, that's what I did. But when you eat a lot of just meat products, you don't shit as much or as often because it takes longer to digest, so they say. But yeah, my cheat day went all right. I didn't feel like shit. I just had to, you know, a little trip to the bowl that was a little bit more urgent than usual. Yeah, we... We finally got to hang out, you know. He's always so busy with that trucking shit that I used to be into. <laughs> yeah, he's got to pay for that motorcycle. Are you even mildly concerned about the uh, thunder we're hearing? Mm -mm. Nope, that's over there and we're here over here, so. But. This always fucking happens, Scott. God damn it. I knew but, I should stay at the fucking benefit and not come out. <laughs> you know, I paid my 20 bucks for my fucking ticket. I had two beers. I didn't even Well, I didn't mean to cut your shit short, but. No, no, no. I wanted to do this. Yeah. Uh, Remember, this is my plan. But. <laughs> yeah, nature, uh. Fuck me in the ass. Nature's angry with me today. I don't know. Like, it was literally sunny all fucking day. But that's how nature works. 
I'm mildly prepared for rain. As in I got my crusty umbrella, but if the wind comes in sideways, my gear's gonna get wet. Most of it's weatherized, some of it is not. But we're still pressing on. It's getting darker. Yeah. And it doesn't matter because I rode my bike here, so I'd rather be in the woods than on the fucking road. Oh. That shit fucking hurt. Well, that's, that's great. I rode my Prius here, so I'd rather be in my Prius when it rains. <laughs> Advantages of Prius over motorcycles. Two miles more per gallon. Yeah, with shelter. <laughs> I could put a bed in that shit. You have. I know. Wouldn't trade my Prius for all the motorcycles in the world. That's not true. You would trade my Prius for all the I'd, motorcycles I'd in the world. I'd trade a Prius for fucking one motorcycle. Shit, the three-way branch. Well, we've been down that way, so let's go this way. We ain't been this way yet. It's getting really dark really fast. Yeah, well, we kind of went in the canopy of the trees, too. So that's part of it. So the leaves will protect us from lightning, Scott. This is going to turn into a real 100% oh, fucking adventure. Look, a three-way branch, a two-way branch. Which way? Do you even know where we're going? Fuck no, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? We're at Lost Lake, man. You said you wanted to go on an adventure. This is going to be more than an adventure. This is going to be a survival situation. All right. I have one bottle of water and no filter. I got my trusty steel pump. Thankfully, I know how to boil water in a plastic bottle, but you can only do that once. If there's sunlight. And if there's fire. No, you can do it on fi with fire. You do we fire? have fire? Do you have a bit? No, but don't you? You're not boiling water, bro. Fuck. And everything's going to be wet, so you can't do a bow saw. The inside of the wood won't be wet. It's got to cut bigger pieces. This is going to be bad. <laughs> oh, it's your green shit. I think I need to get out more because I think I've become more of a pussy. No. From being in that little room. No. Yeah, I think I need to do a, a nice five day in the Adirondacks to toughen me up a little. Remind you who you are? Yeah. <laughs> it came here because of us. You think? It like it literally was fucking sunny all day. And then I get in the car and come out. And this is like the third time this week I've tried to get out. And the fucking storm came right when I was coming out. That's why I didn't come out yesterday. What is this? This is worse. It's going to flood after the rain starts. There's going to be a flash flood through here. I bet so. And we're not going to get back across. <laughs> it is, too. That's what it is. Yeah, this it's is flash flood zone. Bed. That's exactly what that is. <laughs> this is how that dude starved to death in uh, Alaska. He crossed a river and then it flooded and he couldn't get back across and he starved to death in his bus. I think that's on Amazon Prime if you ever want to watch it. I forgot yeah. the name of it. What's the name of that movie? Are you asking the camera? I don't know. Somebody will tell me. Yeah. Eventually. It was a good movie. It was a true story. About a hiker that went out with minimal supplies, had to learn to hunt and kill animals. I mean, he had enough, but he didn't have enough for what he was doing. He goes out in the woods. He didn't have supplies. enough for fucking Alaska, and that's where he was. Alaska is hardcore, eh? Yeah? You know, fucking grizzly bears and shit. There's another dried up riverbed, maybe. Looks like it. The stone. Kind of cool, I know, we're discovering shit. We have no idea where we are, but at least we're finding stuff. Looks like there's a chair over there. Wanna take a, take a break? A chair break? A chair break. Ooh. Oh! You know, I can't carry you out of here if you uh, fuck yourself up. Don't do it. But I think we got cell signal, so they can find us. This is kind of a nice little spot. It probably has that flash flood no, this is where ability to too. Pile of rocks, dude. Oh fuck, here, dude, this shit's slippery as shit. Yeah, I know. 
I'm pretty sure he's got me all turned around and I'm gonna have to use Google Maps to find my way out of here. Ooh, there was some weird shit crawling in there. There's a fence. I know. That's the trails <laughs> over here. Somebody's yard. We could always find our way out and then Uber back to our cars. This is like this is barely a trail. People aren't riding mountain bikes in this shit. Uh, uh. <sighs> I am really getting nervous about the weather. Like I can take my fucking ND filter off now. So as we walk further and further away from our vehicles, Mr. Anderson just informed me he has to take a shit. But he doesn't have any toilet paper. But there's lots of uh, toilet, natural toilet paper. You know, you might have, you might have a rash, a rash or some. You keep toilet paper in your wallet. Damn, how much do you shit that you got to carry spare toilet paper? Wow. That's in the USA because I was lost in the back hallways there. Couldn't find an entrance back to. Uh, the regular area, it was two in the morning. I, I was just, oh, it's, it's a maze back there, dude. And I ended up opening the door, thinking I was going out to the main area to find a bathroom. And it was a staircase. And I was like, fuck. And I ended up just grabbing the railing, hanging over. And I had to cut my sock away, bro. <laughs> you wiped your ass with your sock? Yeah, that's all I had. Well, it might be all we have out here. I got two socks. So, there's a fence here. Barbed wire, too. And with barbed wire. It looks like a farm, though. I which is a field. There's a pot field. Yeah. You know, no, no, seriously, recently, not that long ago, um, they were, because they were talking about it, because you know those harvesters are like a fucking million dollars. The big tractors that fucking cut everything and sort. Yeah. Well, some dude cut his field down and, mm -hmm. um, decimated a whole pot operation somebody's like went in the middle of one of his many fields and had a big pot growing operation in the middle of it kind of hidden yeah so then these guys came back through with rebar and fucking planted all this fucking rebar in a different one of the dude's fields and fucking decimated a, like a three-quarter million fucking harvester this, that was just up uh, up north not that long ago snake or spider hole what do you think Drop spot for drug dealers. <sighs> yeah. Okay, and now that I just tell that story about the drugs, the blue arrows don't necessarily make it like a safe spot for us to be going. So yeah, this could be where they have the all the AK-47 set up I and. A seal pup, bro. <laughs> oh, all right. You got a knife, so we're good. I got a seal pup. <laughs> oh, all right. I think we need more than that with this storm rolling in, but dude, there's like, I wonder if that's from the building that blew up. What? This chunk of, like, looks like roofing. Uh-huh. See this. You think that thin piece of metal is from the building that blew up over a hundred years ago? Yeah, it could be. It looks old enough. Brother. It's raining. I'm about to take that piece of metal Brother. and make a shelter. <laughs> that, that, no. <laughs> Sorry. No? It's, no. Well, what is it? What the hell there is it? There would be nothing but rust now. That's probably been there like two, three years. Oh. No. Um. It's raining. What? Fucking. Posted. Oh. Yeah, we gotta find one of them oh, trees yeah. that Scott. takes. Fuck yeah, dude. What? <laughs> We're going down, boy. Oh man, what the fuck? Um, I don't think we're supposed to go this way. <laughs> I don't even have my fucking stick of happiness. Do it before it gets wet. That's great. Fuck am I supposed to do? Fly. 
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Leave it to me to find a, assuming this fence isn't electrified, to find a lazy way to go down that. Dude, where are you going? Are you looking for a place to shit over there? Yeah. Is... Yeah. Not electrified. Of course, that was probably a horrible way to find out. Oh, that was much easier than what you did. <laughs> what are you going on that side for? There's a trail. There's a trail over here that's not posted. Although there's something up there. The good news is, is the rain isn't getting to us yet. That looks like a reservoir. Are we on the back side of a reservoir? Want to fucking hop the fence to find out? Not particularly during this storm. There's like vents coming up. Something's here. Yo, guess what your trail did, dude? <laughs> we just went around in a fucking circle. I came down here for nothing. <laughs> oh, dude, there's an opening in the fucking yeah. fence. Come on, we've been walking this whole way, and there's the opening at the bottom of this little bowl. But. We're being protected a little bit from the rain right now. Oh, really? There is wide open. <laughs> what do you want to do, Mr. Ant? Oh, fuck. I shouldn't ask that shit. Alright. Well, maybe they left this open for people to escape when they're dying in the woods. So, that's my... I don't even know if I can fit through this motherfucker. Why do I get the feeling we're having way more adventure than the last time you came here? <laughs> I think we should make it up to the top and back in as quick as we can. I don't even know what this is, dude. I don't know what I'm What if it's a toxic waste dump? So just to recap, I think we're trespassing. We are on top of something that requires venting from underground. Mr. Anderson is in full army mode, storming this hill. And the field goes on for quite a, quite some distance. It is fucking beautiful up here, though. these vents here. I don't know. think it is first two guesses most likely landfill from a long time ago it's been covered up and shut down they leave the vents to because it smells like methane gas near the pipe oh you smell that shit yeah you're braver than I for all I know you're gonna have nerve Does, problems yeah <laughs> um second guess this area used to be 
1918, like we discovered last year, used to be a munitions factory and plant, and it was a quarry. Who knows what they were bringing up out of the ground around here? Huh. It's most likely a landfill that they covered, and because that's what they do with landfills when they're done with the area, they can't put anything else there. But then again, trash. Why would they water mow it then? What? Why would they keep it mowed? Let's go. <laughs> it's a solid fucking point. Why would they mow it? Yeah. What the fuck is this? It's not a field where you grow anything. It's just regular fucking grass. Yeah, if you know what this is, write something in the comments. Um, and this is massive for where it is. You don't understand. This is a massive piece of property. And we're on the top of a hill in the fucking yeah, lightning storm. Yeah, I, I just wanted to point that out. Like, I, I think we should go back in the woods. But we should walk down. But, truthfully, though. This goes pretty far, though. That's what I'm saying. This is fucking massive. I bet you we crest that hill way the fuck over there, and you can see even more. Can you do me a favor? Yeah. You pull my umbrella out of the back pocket. Up top, the... Back, back. So once again, I'm holding my umbrella that's made of metal up on top of a hill in the pouring rain with lightning. But it was kind of an interesting find. Let us know in the comments what you think this is. It, I'm leaning towards landfill, but it seems awfully well maintained for a former landfill. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to me. No, it really makes you know, it's protected by a fence with barbed wire. Yeah, triple strand barbed wire, dude. So they clearly don't want us here. But uh, and again, the rich neighborhood, like it doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's like right near residential areas for rich people and all kinds of shit. Maybe this is their secret underground bunker for when the shit hits the fan. That's some tinfoil hat shit right there. Do you remember where the uh, entrance to this area is? Once again, umbrella proves to be the best survival tool to bring out with you, no matter what. <laughs> you look, you look, video you look doing good. Oh, you had to pick your ass real quick? Yeah, I'm going to put this in the little pops of your bag. I don't know it'll stick. My bag's going to get soaked, too. No, no, it's just my glasses. I'm sick of carrying them. Yeah. If I lose them, I can't ride my bike home. Yeah. Um, yeah, the trail is uh, changing. Not very umbrella-friendly in here. There's a national umbrella over top. You might want to close that before you open up on a bigger trail. Shit. So, we didn't die in there, but this is not good. Yeah, I think we need to stand there for a little bit and let it die down. Oh. All right, there's natural canopy right here. Is there a canopy there? Pretty soon the leaves are going to be saturated and ain't going to matter. <sighs> it looks like it might blow through. <laughs> it's getting worse? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean it's clear. Actually, no, it's moving that way, isn't it? This is, this is what fucking explorer videos and adventure videos never show. Just nature beating the shit out of you. How's it going over there? I was washing my hands. Oh. You might want to drink some of that, too. I just need map. that little, uh, that river spot to see what happens. Uh, drive river back. 
I want I want to see if it dies down for a little bit first. I'm already getting fairly soaked. Plus I have my wallet on me, so that ain't cool. <laughs> now you know why I left my Well, so they can identify my body when they find me in the woods. It just got heavier. <laughs> I had to fucking ride my motorcycle too. Yeah. How long you want to wait before we say fuck it and try to get out of here? No, not yet. Dude, this is maximum downpour. I feel like it's gonna blow through. Like, the sunlight's pretty bright over there. We might be on the edge of it, too. Like... This sounded like it's slowing down. Yeah, let's give it a shot. The, we could take a nice little chair break here. <laughs> so Steve is saying that Whatever we could make a fire with this right now. In the rain, look at it just shave off. It's wicked dry. I'll leave some for the next assholes that get nice, stuck out dry, here. Nice, dry, crumbles up good. <laughs> Did it just stop fucking raining? Not yet. So we're getting there. We still probably will die though. Did you have a good run? I had a good run. We had a good hot fucking. <laughs> we had a good, had a good run. run. So we survived the storm. But in true Scott the truck driver misadventure fashion, we're continuing to explore all these little side trails because we're not satisfied until we are well and truly lost. Yeah. We deserve to be fucking lost. They, they, they nicknamed it Lost Lake for a reason. But so far it's teaching me a lot about survival. Because I know all the things that I should have right now that I don't. Including a way to get across. You did that out, what? Fuck! You just had to fucking say Fuck. it. Fuck! Didn't you? We didn't survive! You didn't say it. Son what? of a bitch! Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch. It's over! It's not over! Fucking wait! <laughs> I could, well I thought it was over! Storm's over! Good fucking job, Scott! <laughs> well Next how am Stephanie I gonna get across now. this shit? Stephanie! Scott's right here! Like I got no handholds. You just gotta run and don't stop. Go in, just run and don't stop. Don't step in that hole. You know, uh, doing this with thousands of dollars strapped to my back, more probably, doing. probably bad life choice. Going slow. Going slow is bad. Going fast is good. That was close. All right. Didn't die. My camera is wet as shit. We're really gonna find out if the GH5 is fucking water resistant today. I feel like my backpack got lighter. That's not good. Is uh, all my shit still together? Yeah, dude, everything's everything's closed. Yeah, it's closed. All right. Oh, fuck. Like it's literally sunny out, but somehow the rain is still following us. Do you even have a mild idea where we are? Yeah, a lot of uh, So we are heading in the right direction? Well, oh, we could be on the other side for all I know by now. Whoa, I almost got stabbed in the eye with a fucking tree. Yeah, especially since I have no free hand with which to break my fall. I'd rather break my arm than my skull. Don't try to catch yourself if you fall. That's how you 
get hurt. Just fall. Whoa. Just fall? Learn to fall. Better. Right, what if you land on your head? On what? On the dirt? On a tree branch? It's not the fucking movie. You're not going to put your skull, human. As fragile as you are, we're also very fucking dirty. But your arms, all your weight, shit, my daughter's just walking past my arms last month. I don't I don't feel very durable. You gotta you gotta piss again? Jesus. Yeah man. You're gonna get dehydrated. Dude. So you remember what I was saying about flash flood? It's already starting. It's a good thing we got back here. I kinda know where we are now. But this is that creek we crossed. We don't earlier. want to cross here. Yeah, that would be a bad I mean, that's where we crossed earlier, I think. Yeah, because that's the right thing too. Okay, this is a down up. Down up or up and around? I don't even fucking know. I don't even know where this shit goes. There's like four trails. No arrows. Like this is probably how we find the skeleton of the last person that got lost here. I feel like we're getting a second wave of nature's wrath. This would be third wave. Third wave. Don't step on the rocks this time. That yeah, the rocks are slippery. They were slippery when they were fucking before it rained. Oh shit. Terrible idea. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Hold on. <laughs> now, before you go in your next attempt, keep in mind I have to get up that motherfucker too. And I don't have some of the advantages you currently have. No point in coming up here. Thank you for ranging for me. The other side's steep. <laughs> I mean, it looks cool, but we're just going up to come down. I think we can see it from over here. Don't flip left. I don't right. think we've had this much adventure in the Adirondacks. Dude, this is cool. We're like on a ridge line right now. That's not good. And those are pricker bushes. Yeah. Um, I don't want to go on That looks like swamp we and lake. Right down there. Yeah, that's we can't go that way and I think this way brings us back where we were. It's the wrong way, isn't it? We were right there a minute ago. We just came up and around. No, I'm talking about to get out. Yeah, get out. We have to go there. that way, I think. Yeah, I'll let you take point. Can't not don't, don't go around me here. What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> okay. I mean, you'll get out of the way quick if you step left. <laughs> All right. All right. No. Yes. This is the first time I've really had my expensive camera out like 100% through a storm. This is some GoPro weather, not GH5 weather. I think I can officially name this a Lost at Lost Lake. <laughs> I think you named something lost somewhere before. Lost looking for Lost Lake? Something like that, I don't know. It's not over yet. I think we get back all the way out on that main trail we were walking up. That looked like a train, like a train, uh, a train tunnel, uh. and just go a little further in. Alright. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Sounds like a, a plan. Do I sound enthusiastic? Yeah. I think I think I sound pretty enthusiastic, yeah. right? Sounds right to me. I want to put the umbrella away, but that's like the a. you do it, it's gonna fucking. Yeah, it's like a taunt for nature at that point. So we found Lost Lake, it's behind me there, but we decided 
to explore yet another trail going in a random direction. So this is that creek that we've crossed. We're crossing it back over for the third time. It's getting wetter and muddier each time we do. I want to put the umbrella away. I want to put the umbrella away. What? That's not good. It's a nut, a walnut. It's chestnut. Are you gonna eat it? Hold on. Don't cut yourself. I don't know. It's a nut. Yours. Yeah, it's not even near anywhere near ripe though. No, it's not, but. Which means it's got all kinds of plant toxins going on right now. Yeah. That's what it did to my hands. Oh. Yeah, I almost yeah. got killed by a falling nut in the woods. Uh, nature, so, nature wanted to let us know that it's is that a chestnut tree. It's still gonna test us. That's a chestnut tree. Chestnut. Chestnut. All right. Cool. All that, all that botany you studied paid off. That would be my. <laughs> you know, rangers are part druid, right? In terms of, uh, they're a multi-class. They have druid spells. Uh, no, more nature. Yeah, nature holy spells. Yeah, depending on your view of nature. Mm. Oh shit! Yo, Put the umbrella away. Smell my fucking I don't want to smell your shit. Don't you've been, smell my hands. You've been dude. handling your dick and, no, and all kinds of shit. I don't want nothing to do with your hands. It's like orangey. Ah. Uh. That's where they put the, the strychnine. Now it's just toads to be released here. A bunch of toads in here, see? Toads? Yeah. They're loading there swimming around. Yeah. Men's is good eats. So we won't starve to death. Although I don't know how healthy eating one of those toads would be, given where their environment is. That was a nice fancy move you did there, but uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> fuck. Just fucking do it. This is this is where we find out if the GH5 is waterproof. Good sh good thing my shoes are a little waterproof. Not that waterproof though. No, sometimes slow and steady wins the race, and it did in this case. So we have uh, made it back to Lost Lake. I think this is the trail in, isn't it? Oh, uh, where we got into the lake. So if we go back, I'm confused now because this is where we walked into the lake area. Oh. Uh, hmm. I just remember all of this rock here from before. The storm has moved on. Nature has let us survive. Ah, yep, that's the trail. What do you think? You think we're good? No. No? We want to explore more? Yeah, dude. You're addicted and shit. <laughs> Are you, what are you doing?
baby bird in the nest. I think we've officially, although we've still got a couple yards to go, we've officially survived. But, but, but there's, there's cars, but, but there's, there's the cars. We, we can go now. Steve. We didn't die. We, the cars. They're. Aren't you tired? You know, I keep seeing these fucking eyeballs painted all over Split Rock. I'm beginning to wonder if there's a cult here. I think there's a secret cult at Split Rock. And they lure unsuspecting dickheads like us in to the woods with these semi-manicured trails so that they can bring us to their large underground bunker. Yes, and we become sex slaves forever. Oh, I can't say that on YouTube, can I? That's, that's my theory so far about Split Rock. There's a lot of side trails here. I feel like this is just an alternate route. So I think that's it for this adventure. We're almost back to the car for the second time. There's nothing really interesting happened down this trail. Despite the warnings that were on this trail. But uh... Learned some lessons today on this adventure. First of all, always bring a Bic lighter, because you never know. Because even on a short hike such as this, it could get fucked up really quick. Nature could totally fuck your plan up. It's all right, we had fun, it was an adventure. Also, you should probably bring something to, well, he brought a knife, so we were good there. But some kind of, Temporary shelter. I'm becoming a strong advocate of the old-fashioned dollar store umbrella as your uh, survival gear. So overall, it was a nice little adventure. I recommend Lost Lake as a good place to hang out to get away from the larger crowds. Though there are some questionable folks that sometimes frequent the woods here, but you know it is near a city. Yeah, like two guys that are walking around and discovering weird fucking underground bunkers and shit. <laughs> but it's a fun place to hang out. It's right in town in Syracuse and uh, now we've fully explored it, I think. I think we've been to both sides of it now. There's probably like one or two trails we haven't discovered, but... Yeah. So... We are not experts at this shit. We're just assholes. Please like and subscribe for more shit. And I'll make more fucking shit. Also head to scottthetruckdriver.com and subscribe to the email list so that you can tell YouTube to take its algorithm and shove it right up their ass. And take your trash out of the woods. Don't be a dick. Yeah, carry in, carry out. Keep the woods nice for everyone and don't draw dicks on shit. I'm tired of it. Do we have no creativity? Draw like some vagina. mysterious symbol that makes us wonder what's going on. Maybe a yeah, what about what about I f feel like female genitalia is dramatically underrepresented in the graffiti art of today. So that's not fair that there no. should be outrage. Not yeah, there should be outrage on Twitter that there's an unbalanced balance of Ooh, genitalia. That's yeah, that's we we're escaping just in time. You better get moving because I gotta get my fucking bike moving. Oh yeah, you're that that's gonna suck for you. 
It's a good thing I got a Prius. So, uh, oh, you hit it. Uh, it's, yeah, I put it in the back. So, what else was I gonna say? Also, you can follow me on DLive for my live stream. We met our five video quota for this week. So you, this was filmed on Sunday, but this is one of the videos for next week. And uh, so look forward to that. And uh, we'll keep this shit going. I like to do other things other than sit in my room and bitch about YouTube all day. You know. And this is healthy. This is the exercise I've been needing to get for a little while. Have a nice motherfucking day. Appreciate it.